All-American wrestler Nate Fitzenrider leads the Cardinals against the Wheaton Thunder. Coached by Jim Grunwald, who tries to pump up Fitz's opponent Caleb Cardenas before the 133-pound match. Fitzenrider and Cardenas go to work as Fitzenrider goes inside for the single-leg takedown 2-0 Fitz. Later in the first, it's back to basics for Fitzenrider, who throws a half Nelson to put Cardenas on his back, leading to the pin. Fitzenrider wins by fall at 243. Returning national qualifier Andrew Zoback wrestling up a weight class at 149, taking on the 2011 IHSA state runner-up Mark Savinok. Savinok strikes first early on after getting the single leg, sweeps it and gets the takedown 2-0 Savinok. Second period score now 2-2. Zoback drives the leg and elevates for the two and stays in bounds for the 4-2 lead. Third period, 5-3 Zoback at this point. Zoback may be in a different area of the mat, but he uses the same move to take a 7-3 lead in the match, and he would go on to win 8-3. In the 165-pound match, Joby Bodie taking on Luke Sims. Bodie hits the single leg and drives as high as he can for the takedown and takes a 2-0 lead. Now 4-2, Bodie gets low for another single, one of five takedowns on the day. That puts Bodie up 6-2, and he'd win 12-4. Next highest weight class, 174, faces Jason Bonham against Matt McCrary. In the first, Bonham goes for the single, drives under, and eventually clears his legs for two to take an early lead. Later in the first, Bonham throws the headlock to put McCrary on his back. About 30 seconds later, he finishes with a pin at 114. Bonham puts North Central College up 35-0, and they'd go on to win the dual meet against the Thunder, 35-15. I didn't know I was going to wrestle at all until 10 o'clock last night when Kevin told me, he's like, you're wrestling 174, and I'm like, okay, 10 o'clock, whatever, no big deal. So for the opportunity, it's really good, and the experience is going to be good as well. Wheaton's really come on strong this year. They had a great recruiting class. They, they got good coaching. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely important to come here and get the win. And being the first duel, the uh, CCIW duel of the year, it's, it's just a good experience. Having Fitz and Zoe back on the team is definitely something special just because the way that they wrestle, just the mentality that they have, it's amazing. I think the first match we lost was 184, so we put a really good string of matches together in the first place. Yeah, well, we're just getting started. I mean, this is the beginning of our year. We're working on our conditioning, our technique. It's good to get this good competition, always trying to find the best competition to wrestle those D1 schools. It makes you better. Every challenge you get makes you better in the end. North Central picks up their first dual meet win of the year after facing Division I opponents Northern Illinois University and Stanford to start the season. They'll hit the mats next at Olivet on November 19th.